Hi, I'm Randy Altman with Post Perspective, and we're at, we're at NAB 2016. And my guest today is Sony's Francois Go Gautier. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Randy. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Don't hold that against me. Um, so I know that Sony has a lot going on this year, as always, and that you guys use the tagline from lens to living room. So everywhere in between, start to finish. Can you talk a bit about um, some of the new cameras that you have introduced that relate to um, the in our section of the industry? And then also I know that you guys have a new HDR monitor, which a lot of people have been waiting for. So tackle it any way you'd like. Absolutely. Well, there's lots of things to think about this year. We do have new product, and what you have to, to know is that we have a really strong lineup. We did not introduce a lot of new models. Many of the models that were introduced already in their fourth, fifth generation. I walk around the show floor and I see many manufacturers introducing their first 4K, and, and they're presenting it as this the new evolution. We already had the F65 that was 8K many years ago, then we introduced the F55, after that the FS7, FS5. We've introduced the HDC 4300, an extremely, extremely powerful and popular camera that has been used in pretty much every episodic television, sports events, so that is the de facto high-end premium camera. So we already had a really strong lineup, many years of experience, and now we're adding to that lineup. So we're looking at our lineup and we're seeing what is missing. And based on the customer's feedback, we saw a need for a camera called the Z150, which is an entry-level 4K camera, easy to use, compact, traditional form factor. We also had a request for a shoulder mount, ENG, EFP style shoulder camcorder, that's also 4K, that we call the Z450. We had a request for a high frame rate, and that is exciting. High frame rate 4K camera that can do close to a thousand frames per second in HD, so 960 frames, but can do eight times 4K. So it is a really, really exciting year for us. And that's available now? Uh, most of these products are available right now. The these studio camera, rate. the high frame rate, yeah. is going to be a little, little bit later in the year. Okay, all right. Maybe IBC? Maybe. We have seen that camera travel around the country, do some special events, some big football game, things like that, but uh, we have not launched the production model yet. Okay. So a little bit later toward the fall. Okay. Now, I know that you guys are always very very good about giving people a path to post. Can yes. you talk about that as well? Absolutely. The beauty about the approach when you're looking at post is that there are many levels of post. The same way there are many levels of camera, many levels of monitor, many levels of capture product. Broadcasters have a completely, completely different requirement than, let's say, the digital cinematography. So at Sony, we approached it with a scalable codec called XAVC. It is our own design, so it is not an off-the-shelf codec. Many manufacturers are going out and buying an off-the-shelf MPEG-4 codec, which has different uh, level and profile, so different tool set to compress the video. In our case, we created our own because this is what we do. We're an engineering company, workflow is important. So what we saw is that there's really a need for the news market at really efficient codecs, so small bitrate, 25, 35, 50 megabits per second. So if you're in a news environment and the, the information you're gonna be capturing is gonna go live to air tonight at six, then at 10, maybe you don't need a raw codec, maybe you don't need an intra codec. So this is for all these broadcasters that are targeting a really efficient low bit rate. So we have that in our lineup. We also have an XAVC intra where we basically have it takes a little bit more bandwidth, but it gives you a better picture quality. So if you want to go to prime time, uh, high-end episodic television, or even main feature film, you could do that. And for those who really want the quality, then we have raw format. And right. we have that raw format at many bit rate. So our message has always been scalable. Whatever your production, your deliverable is, we have an application for it. And for those who would be looking at the web, we also have lower bitrate in our proxy format. So most of these cameras also record a low resolution proxy that can be used for the internet to do pre-editing. And the cool thing is you could be, let's say, in the center of Central Square, uh, 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 yeah, Times Square, sorry, I'm mixing with Canadian expression. So uh, uh, Times Square, and you would be able to capture information, send that proxy, low resolution proxy that's in California, where the second part of your team will start the editing while you're still locally based in New, in New York and you're stuck in traffic, cannot get back to the station. Right. So you can distribute your workforce. And I think that's important in 2016 oh, yeah. as we see the, the change in the industry. Oh, yeah. So we really have solutions at every level. They are processed differently and they really depend on your requirements. Right, and I do see a lot of post companies that are um, adopting your, you know, your codex, uh, just essentially 
Yes. Constantly. So that so that's good. So that makes it easier for, for us in post. The other thing, so why don't you get into the HDR um, Absolutely. Yes, 55 inches? 55 inch monitor. And I think the HDR is maybe misunderstood by many people. We have camera that exceeds the HDR model. For years we had camera that can exceed whatever we're gonna to send to those new television or that we've been sending to all the traditional television out there. So we would record all the information close to what your eyes can see and we would cut it down. We would cut it down a little bit to go to a movie theater. We would cut it down further to go to HD television. We would cut it down further to go to SD television if you sure. still have one of those old tube television. And some people do. And they don't want to die if they're a Sony TV. But And the internet. So we would cut down. And, and that's sad that we could not reproduce what the eyes were seeing. Yes. We would capture it, but we cannot deliver it. This is what HDR is. We're trying to look at the deepest shadow, the brightest highlight, and HDR means we captured it with the camera, we're trying to keep it across the entire workflow. So somebody could take, let's say, an F55 or an F65, get all the information, bring them into the editing platform, and they would do minor correction to bring it to what we call BT 2020, which is much wider than the cinema DCI-P3 that we know. So when you go to a cinema and you commit to a $15 price tag to see a movie, you expect a premium experience. You expect an experience where you're gonna have lots of brightness, you're gonna have a beautiful gradation of color and everything. This is what HDR gives us. Mm -hmm. But the DCI-P3 was good for many years, now it's time to review it and bring something else. So what we have is HDR in multi-format. You either capture HDR on your camera and you bring it in post-production and you color correct it and then you deliver in any format you want or you do live HDR. And this is where we're different than most manufacturers on the show floor. Our strength is live 4K, live HDR. So we take a camera like the HTC 4300 will record with what we call S-Log3, which most of your viewers know because they're using it on many, many cameras in the Sony lineup, and they're able to bring it to one of those new monitors, for example, that PVMX 550, or go through a switcher, be able to correct it in real time. So when the customer receives it at home with a television that is HDR enabled, they just turn on the menu to HDR and they will see the full range of the camera. And this is something we couldn't do in the past. Now we have a lens to living room message where we capture the picture, we can send it without processing, all do it to a customer, and the television can detect if it was captured HDR or not and adapt. So if you have all the elements in the chain, and at Sony we have all of these products, and some uh, communication provider have all the pieces as well, mm -hmm. uh, then you would be able to see everything from the lens to the living room. And that is what we're showing in our booth. Fantastic. Francois, thank you so much for coming and sharing the information with us, and I uh, hope you have a good NEB, what's left of it, anyway. It's nice to see you, Randy, nice again. To see you. I'm Randy Altman with Post Perspective. It's Francois with Sony, and we're at NEB 2016.